Okay, guys. Uh, today, what I is I've managed to get a free a bit of free time. Uh, last week, I picked up some uh, eight inch Boss Sounds uh, drivers. Um, picked them up really cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna be building a home audio system for my house. So I'm gonna be building two uh, transmission line cabinets uh, for the house. Um, okay, so all the blueprint I actually got here on the design of the transmission line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark all the panels up now, and I'm gonna start. Okay, so now it's all marked out. As you guys can see on the four panels. And uh, these ones are we're gonna we're gonna pilot over the holes first. Okay. And this is all the centers. We've got a young man here helping out today, so we're gonna do is pre drill all this now, yeah? And then uh put this on top of here and we're gonna pre drill all of them. We do two at a time. Alright, so it's all clamped up, uh, both of them are clamped down, so I'm gonna start drilling the holes now. Okay, if you can hold that there here, watch just film here. Just film yeah. drill it, actually. Yeah. Okay, it's done. All right, so we've done the drill for the pallet. It's all done. Next step, I have to clean it all up. Put the shit on it. With the clamps. Right, so all the 45 corners are basically cut out already, so I'm going to start uh, marking out the cutout for the speaker. So uh, 45 angles are done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mark, start marking it. The 45 angles actually sit on here. Okay, in that corner there. And the distance between that point to that point here on the transmission line is literally 3 inches all throughout. So you've got a 3 inch all the way around. So that's actually all done. Alright, so uh, we've got 645s cut out. This is the top. That's the edge we want, yeah? You see that on the camera? Yeah. So, that's the edge we want. Right,
Lord. Doesn't that happen now? You guys will see. This piece. Yeah, something like so. Okay, okay, so that's the front of the transmission line. This will go over here. And then, and then I'll screw this all down now. Okay, guys, uh, this is the stage we're at now. All I'm going to do is DA all that down, and then I'm going to glue it all up, and that's literally the transmission line. One unit's done. Uh, I'm going to get back onto the next unit after I've done this. So it's took me about uh, half an hour to about 40 minutes to do the first unit so we're gonna do the next box in a few minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna DA all this down then I'm gonna seal it all up okay so I'm gonna start on the next unit now okay guys here are the two transmission line I'll put the cover on tomorrow but what we're doing is we're leaving the cover open so we can actually access the internal of it so all I'm gonna do tomorrow is paint this section here and run the cables into the uh, in the box and across the back okay so that's gonna be done tomorrow so for now this is uh, left like this um, then we're not when the glue dries, uh, we will sand a bit more down and then we're going to start painting the inside of it. Uh, this is what it looks like at the minute. So you guys can see, this is what it looked like on paper. This is the blueprint, the whole design. Uh, and all the cutout obviously on the MDF. Uh, and that's actually done. Uh, and here we go. I literally built this two transmission line now, 80 mil MDF. Uh, the whole um, transmission line came out of one sheet, 8x4. So these are actually 48 inches high, 8.25 deep, and then 10 inches width. Okay, if you guys can see here, that's that's literally the transmission. Okay, so now the driver is actually in. If you can see how close that gap is, it's about 0.25 mil away from the back. That's it there. Okay, that's the two, two transmission lines. Right, right the holes and transmission lines.